Fine. Good morning, all of you. Welcome, me all. Welcome you all of you. And we are doing the combination circuits we are doing now. We are doing the combination circuits. Let's continue our discussions. The combination circuits. And last class we completed up to uh, multiplexes we have completed, right? Multiplexes we did now. Now let's focus on the demultiplexer. Now let's take the next one here, demultiplexer. Demultiplexer. Take down here, demultiplexer. A demultiplexer. This is simply opposite to this multiplexer. Demultiplexer is opposite to this multiplexers. Previously, in case of a multiplexers. Multiplexer. How the what are the scenario we have seen in case of multiplexers? What we have seen in case of multiplexers? Yes, what we have seen in case of multiplexers, we have seen that. Let us consider here. Yes, the the, the two paths are there, and this two path has to go to after that it has to go to one path here. Yes or no? Two paths are there from this two path. We need to go enter into a single path. We need to enter. Let us consider here. According to a switch, according to the switch, and we can decide now here which which person will go. Yes, sir. Now we have seen this thing here. Now this demultiplexer means simply opposite operation. What the operation is saying? So here there is only one path is there from this one path, and after now we have a two parts are there two parts are there if i consider now here and which path we need to go that were decided by the select lines here and this person will go up from here it will go to in this path or in this path which person has to go that will be decided by the select lines all of you Previously, in case of a multiplexer, what we have seen now here, two roads. From the two roads, we need to go enter into the single road. But here, in case of demultiplexer, one road to two road connection. Consider this thing like this. And demultiplexer. In case of this multiplexer, we have seen how many outputs are there. We have only one output always. In case of multiplexer, we have only one output. In case of demultiplexer, we have only one input only. Now here we have only one input. And how many outputs are there? So in case of a multiplexer, the inner uh, the multiplexers, how many inputs are there? It is two power n inputs. Now the demultiplexer, how many outputs are there? That is two power n output. Simply opposite operation. One to many. So with n is a, in this case of demultiplexer, 2 power n is a number of outputs, number of outputs, and n is a number of select lines, like same as the multiplexer. n is the select lines here also. And the 2 power n is the inputs, now the 2 power n is the output. And only one output, now this is one input. Simply opposite operation. Done. 
this is the d multiplexer and this d multiplexer which we can call this as what now one input and many outputs are there one input and many outputs and here the data is distributed so data so the data is coming from here this data may go via in this path via in this path that is decided by the select lines and this is called as a one to many circuit which is also called as what one to many circuit this is a d multiplexer fine so now the this is the d multiple the general structure is d multiplexer is like this that is one cross two power n one cross two power n where one is the input and two power n is the outputs and where n is a number of select lines two power n outputs and only one is the inputs this is the general structure of a d multiplexer this is one cross two power n one cross two power n right so here if i take this n is equal to one what we can say this is a one cross two next one cross four one cross eight one cross sixteen like this we have now you can see here each case each case how many inputs are there each case how many inputs are there you tell me each case how many inputs are there only one input only one input right how many outputs are there in this case we have a two outputs are there how many select lines are required here how many select lines are here in this case select line is one in this case how many select lines are required two square now that is two select lines now in this case how many select lines are three select lines in this case how many select lines are four select lines like this all of you and you can see here this is the general structure we can say here so here here we have only how many inputs are there only one input and this one by one one cross two power then d multiplexer this is and so these are here how many outputs are there there two power n number of outputs are there here now select lines how many select lines are there so n select lines so s naught to s s n minus one n select lines are there all of you now consider this as a one cross two d multiplexer one cross two d multiplexer let's see this working of this one cross two d multiplexer so here it has only one input input i am calling as i and it has a two outputs y naught and y1 y naught and y1 yes if yes see the select lines here yes see the select line now you can see here if s is equal to zero if s is equal to zero here s is equal to zero then this path will be established here if s is equal to zero the data the input will be go to the y naught so this is y naught will become what now here i if s is equal to zero if s is equal to one if s is equal to one now this connection will be established here like this now this complete data will go to here y1 so y1 will become what now here i the data will go to the y1 now and you can see this is if s is equal to zero tell me what happens now f is equal to zero what is the y naught i will get y naught will get as a data is available and what a y1 value there is no output now here zero this is an open path there is no connection right if s is equal to one s is equal to one here this is the y1 now here so here there is no data will go to here why not and the data is available at where now here it is a at y1 the data is available 
all of you yes and here you can see here what we can say this why not now here output this is the output why not which is given us what we can say this is when the output will come to the why not here when s value equal to zero zero into i i can say all of you and here is y1 what is y1 now here this is s into i s into i we will get the y1 we will get the output now s into i and you can see this logic circuit what we have seen now here y not which is given as s bar into data y1 which is equal to what we can say here s into i all of you now you can see here now this y not but this y not have taken as one and gate have taken like this now this is the y not here and i am calling this is the y1 this is the y1 now you can tell me why not is equal to s bar into i s bar into i so what we can say this is i can say this is my s yes and this is my s bar this is my s bar not good we have taken now, now this is yes and i am taking one data line yes this is my data line this is a i yes this is the i now you can tell me the connections now here so why not what we have is s bar s bar means here is a connection i will make it now here this connection and this i and y1 is what are the connections you can see here yes into i s into i here is the connections done this is the logic circuit implementation of it this is the multiplexer Next, let us talk about a 1 by 4 D multiplexer. Now you tell me in case of 1 by 4 D multiplexer, you tell me, yes, how many inputs are there? We have only one input. And how many outputs are there? Outputs are four outputs. How many select lines are there? Two select lines, two, two squares, two select lines. One is a S naught and S1. Yes, when S s1 and s0 when s0 0 s1 is also 0 0 0 means what what is a decimal equivalent of 0 0 is a 0 that means that data is available at the i at the y0 remaining all will be zeros remaining all are zeros fine remaining all are zeros everybody now so this combination if i take the zero one is a combination i have taken now you tell me here zero one means what the decimal equivalent of zero one is a one so the data is available at where now here it is a y1 the data is available whatever the input we have given that is available at the y1 remaining all are what zeros remaining all the outputs are zeros now if i give this as one zero is a cons given this thing now so here what we'll get now here yes one zero means the uh, the data is available at the y2 remaining all are zeros
Now, if I give this as 1, 1, if I give. Yes, 1, 1 means what now? Y3, now this is one, I available here. And this data 0, this data 0, this value also 0. All of you. Now, can you tell me the expression for this Y0, Y1, Y2s? Tell me this Y0 expression. What will get now here? When the data is come, come to the Y0 now here, then when it is S1 bar, S0 bar into I na. All of you, when both are zero zeros, then only data will come to the I. Why not? And Y1 is what we can say this is S1 bar, S0 bar into I next y2 is what we can say this is s1 s0 bar into i next y3 which is equal to what we can say this is s1 s0 into i All of you, like this, the demultiplexer is there. Fine, all of you. Similar manner, can you see this thing as a 1 by a demultiplexer? 1 by a demultiplexer. If you have seen a 1 by a demultiplexer, now you can tell me this thing, the operations. Look at these operations now here. So here, Eight outputs are there, three select lines. If you have taken, it is all zeros now here. All zeros you have taken. Tell me now where the output we can available, where the data is present now here. Where the data will go. I given all zero, zero, zeros are given. Then where the data will go? The data will be available at this y naught. Why? Because all zero zeros now zero zeros mean that is a zero. So that's why data is available at the y naught. And whatever remaining now here, all are zeros. Yes, nothing is available at the remaining all the cases. If I give this as a zero, zero, one, if I give. This combination if I given. So this 0, 0, 1 means which is equal to 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. So the data is available way now here at y1. So remaining all values will become what it is in zeros. All of you. If I given this as 0, 1, 0. And the way the data is available, you tell me. And the data is available at this y2. Next, if I give this 0, 1, 1, the data is available at y3. All of you. Like this. If I give this as 1, 0, 0, the data is available at the y4. If I give this 1, 0, 1, the data is available at the Y5. 1, 1, 0, then the data is available for Y6. 1, 1, 1, the data is available at Y7. You can see. All of you, like this, the remaining are what? All the remaining are zeros. All these remaining things are what? Yeah, zeros. Nothing is available here. <coughs> Isn't it? This is the scenario. Everybody, 
like this. Next, look at now. Implement off adder using one by four D marks. Implement the off adder by using what? One by four D multiplexer. Let's see this thing here, off adder. Yes, we know this off adder expressions. Off adder case. What is the sum expression of off adder? What is the sum expression of off adder? <coughs> Which is equal to what? AXR B na? Which is equal to what? A bar B plus A B bar. This is the sum. And what are the carry? Carry expression is what? AB. AB is a carry expression. So now this is my off adder. This is my 1 by 4 D multiplexer. 1 by 4 D multiplexer. And D max we can say. And how many inputs are there? It has only one input. Only one input. How many outputs are there? How many outputs are there? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 outputs. Like this. And how many select lines? How many select lines are required here? It is a 2 select line. This is my yes one and this is my yes not. Now I am giving this is A and this I am giving this as a B I have given. Now this I am giving this a data this is 1 I have given. Now can you tell me what I will get here at this location what I will get? What I will get which is equal to what now it is? A bar B bar into this is 1 now. Yes, this outputs what we have seen now. This output means what now? Yes, one bar, yes, not bar into this thing, whatever we have given. This is available here, isn't it? Now, this is one, and this is what? And this is what? A bar, B bar into one, and this is A, B bar, and this is what we can say A, B, isn't it? Now you tell me this is half adder means what we required now here it is a a bar b plus a b bar. Here we have a bar b is there now here. Yeah, this a bar b is there now here. And these two, if I connect it to the R gate, then what I will get now here if I connect this to a R gate, then I will get the required sum is available, I can say sum is available here yes next carry for this carry means what now a b a b is here is there now here then i can call this is nothing but carry only like this we have implemented the off adder by using one by four d multiplexer <laughs> right now, can you implement this off subtractor now? Same manner, off subtractor. So, what is the off subtractor? In case of off subtractor, this is the difference. What the difference expression is? Same as the adder expression only now. A X R B, which is equal to what? A bar B plus A B bar. This is next borrow. And what about this borrow expression is in case of off adder, which is given as A bar B is a borrow, A bar B. So implement this by using 1 by 4 D marks. 1 input 0, 1, 2, 3. Now this is yes 1 and yes not. And two select lines. Now this is one I'm giving here, this is A and this is B. 
and what I will get here it is a this is a bar b bar and this is a bar b and this is what we can say a b bar and this is what now here a b and you can see this thing xr operation now here what we could now these two are connected to a which gate now here it is a r gate these two are connected to your r gate then what i will get now here difference next and this is with a bar b is a bar where is a bar b here is a a bar b now here so if we extend like this now here i can give this thing this is nothing but bar o. this is nothing but bar o. isn't it so we got this off subtractor implemented now like this the same thing here so implement the full adder by using what now here 1 by 8 d max d max 1 by 8 d max full adder means full adder and full adder case some expression we know now what is the expression of sum in case of a full adder Did you remember this is what remember the min terms of this thing here sum which is equal to what we have min terms we remembered here now one two four seven remember this thing so axr bxr c which is equal to one two four seven next carry expression what are the carry expression that is a majority carrier which is given us what we can say here this is three five six seven these are the min terms of a carry sum is one two four seven carry is three five six seven right now we have a full order i have taken have taken a full order i have taken like this now how many inputs are there it has only one input and outputs are how many eight outputs are there zero one two three four five six seven now here select lines what are select lines here we have yes one this is no yes two i can say three select lines required now here this is yes two yes one and yes not three select lines now which is equal to e a b and c a b c we have connected like this now these outputs we have now this is one if i say now you tell me for some what are the mean terms we require now one two four seven so what we can do this is one is there two is there next here this is the four and seven so all i will take one xr gate r gate here r gate i will take now here all these things we will connect here so here one four inputs are there so one is connected to here one two two is connected to here and next four this is the four and seven and here this is the seven connected like this now here this is nothing but sum of some expression this is the sum expression next carry means three five six seven now i am taking one more r gate i have taken I have taken one more R gate I have taken and implement this thing here. Now this is a carry. 
now tell me carry now here we required three five six seven three this connection five connected here six here and then seven the seven connected here now we'll get a carry like this isn't it like this we have implemented what we have implemented now here yes full adder by using this multiplexer demultiplexer Done. Fine, all of you. Right. Next. Now we'll see the implementation decoders 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 decoder which is a combination of we can say multi input multi output logic gate decoder is a multi input multi output logic gate multi input multi output logic gates so the general structure of this decoder is n cross 2 power n is what n cross 2 power n where n is a number of inputs where n is a number of inputs and 2 power n is a number of outputs n is a number of inputs and 2 power n is a number of outputs fine Serious technique. How this decoder it is? Consider we have a n cross 2 power n. It has n number of inputs are there. This are here we have n inputs are there. N inputs. It has a 2 power n outputs. It has what? 2 power n outputs are there. N inputs and 2 power n outputs. Here we have one additional pin you can see in the decoder that is called as enable. What is enable means like it is on. So if this enable, if this if I give this enable equal to one here, then this will be on. Then this decoder is on like a power supply, like a main supply. We can say here if when the main is off, let us say in your home, if you off the main, even if you but even if you on any of your switch also, no light, no bulb will, will be work. So this enable is like a main supply. Enable is like a main supply. If this enable, enable must be equal to one, then only the decoder will work. So to work this thing here, first of all, we need to on this enable pin. This is, if this enable pin is zero, it does not work. fine and you can see there is a similarities between the decoder and in case of a input is a demultiplexer decoder and in case of a demultiplexer here you can see this is a 2 by 4 decoder and this is 1 by 4 demultiplexer so here you tell me now here it has what now here two inputs are there here it has a two inputs are there here and four outputs are there right next here it has a four outputs are there four outputs are there and two inputs in place of inputs here we have what we have these are the select lines in case of demultiplexer what we have is a select lines we have and in case of this is in case of demultiplexer what we have is a one input we have in place of this input here this is the, the enable pin enable pin now what you observe here now here what we observe now here if i 
remove this thing here if i place this thing to here if i place this thing to here then what happens now let us simply consider if i this inputs here the inputs and this enable pin if these two are interchanged what happens if the inputs and enable pin are interchanged then what happens then what happens now this and it will be what it will be same as like a demultiplexer only now it is same as a demultiplexer only all of you then it is same as a demultiplexer only isn't it then it will exactly behaves like a demultiplexer only so you can see what you observed here is what you observed here is You can see decoder. You can write in first. You can copy this part here. Copy this thing here. Decoder is a special case of demultiplexer in which select lines, select lines. What now is select lines will become what? Select lines of select lines of demultiplexer are treated as inputs inputs of what inputs to the decoder and the inputs of demultiplexer are treated as enable input enable input copy this thing here Fine. Now, you can see this, the active high decoder. Let us consider 2 by 4 decoder. Here we have given this thing here, A. Let us consider the inputs are here. We have given A and B are the inputs. And here we can get this as a Y0 is the output, Y1 and Y2 and Y3 are the outputs. Fine y1 y2 y this thing now you tell me what i will get here it is a so this is here what is will get now here why not what the why not means what now here this is given as a bar into b bar this is the why not now here and this y1 what the y1 means what now here it is a a bar into b and y2 is what here it is a a into b bar and this is y3 is equal to a b all of you all of you next here this all this working will depends upon what this is enable pin now if enable equal to zero what i will get why not if enable equal to zero then what i will get why not why not will get zero this working completely depends upon this enable pin now. So that's why we have to multiply each thing. We have to multiply the enable. Yes or no. If enable equal to 1, then only this y0, y1, y2 values will get. If this enable equal to 0, then what I will get? If enable equal to 0, then I don't get anything now. Output. All the outputs are zeros. So that's why we should multiply with what now it is a enable. All of you. 
now if we develop one table here like this you can see that table truth table we can develop it now here let us call this is the enable and there are two inputs and there are outputs here i'm calling this is the enable and this is my a and this is my b and here this is the outputs are y not y1 y2 y3 okay now let us say if enable equal to zero let us say enable equal to zero then what now here irrespective of the given inputs irrespective of the given inputs all the outputs are what zeros irrespective of the given inputs all the outputs are what zeros if i say enable is one if we give zero zero if we give this thing here zero zero if you give you tell me what happens now here if i give zero zero what the equivalent of zero zero is a y zero that's why this is one remaining all are zeros y naught will be a one remaining all are zeros if you want you can place here how much this y naught means what now here enable enable is what one this is what now a bar means a value zero bar b value zero bar so this means zero bar means one one into one now here so that's why this will be one now let have, whatever the y1 you see this thing here y1 so enable is one a bar means g one zero bar b value zero now if b value zero whole term this will become zero next y2 y2 is what now here it is a so a value zero means this value whole term zero y3 this value whole thing will be zero now here like this now enable is one and enable is one if i say zero one is a combination of input tell me what happens now what i will get my output now here what i will get now here zero one binary decimal equivalent of zero one is one so this y one is one the remaining all are zeros all of you now if i give this as enable is one this is one zero what happens now if i give one zero one zero so this will be a zero zero one and this will be zero next enable is one 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 if i give then will be zero 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 and one isn't it this is the working of the decoder this is the working of a decoder yes now everybody now consider this decoder look at here look at here now this the inputs are a and this the inputs are b look at now here what they given this is the enable bar this is what now previously you can see this is enable now this is what now here enable bar understood this thing here yes enable bar enable bar mean this is the negative logic system when this enable when this decoder will be on when the decoder is on if we give zero, then this will be on. Opposite now, negative logic system. This is a negative logic system. If we give zero, then only decoder is on. All of you. If we give one, this decoder will be off. Yes, this is what now here. If we give one, if we give one, then only decoder will is on. If one and decoder is on here. This is the positive logic system. And this is a negative logic system. Now you tell me what we'll get now. This is a Y naught. This is a Y1 and this is Y2 and this is a Y3. If 
fine this is the y not you tell me what i will get now y not is a this is a bar into b bar y1 a bar into b y2 yes a b bar y3 a b now you can tell me all these things will work provided when enable equal to zero or one enable equal to zero so what we can say this is now here i should multiply with whole thing with enable bar enable bar yes, sir no i need to multiply with enable bar i need to multiply with enable bar here here also i should multiply with enable bar isn't it now he also will develop the one table we can form it we can see the table this is the enable bar and the two inputs and the four outputs I'm calling this is what now this is a enable bar and this is a and this is b and the outputs are y0 y1 y2 and this is y3 now you tell me here if enable bar equal to 1 let us say here Now here we can write this as enable, fine. If enable equal to one, then tell me what happens now. If enable equal to one, tell me what happens now here. If enable equal to one, tell me now enable bar will be a zero. So here irrespective of the inputs now, all the outputs will be zero. Yes or no. If enable equal to one, that is enable bar is zero. So this all the value outputs will become zero, isn't it? Now let us say enable equal to zero, then tell me what happens. If enable equal to zero, then this will be activated now here. Zero, zero. You tell me which will be will get it as one. You tell me. So enable bar. You can see here why not? What the why not you will get now here is a enable bar means zero bar. This is a bar means zero bar b bar. This will be whole thing is one now. That means why not is one. The remaining will be zeros now. Check it. This is zero. Mm. What now here? Zero one. If it is 0, 1, you tell me what I will get now here. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, all of you. Now this is 0, 1, 1, this is 0, 0, 0, 1. Check it, all of you. This is the working of this decoder. Fine. Now, take this problem here, all of you, and take this problem here. Tell me. Find the logic expression of W and the Z. Find the logic expression of W and Z. And see here carefully what we'll get now. First of all, so this is the enable now here. So what I will get now basically as we have seen now here, enable into this is here. What I will get now this is a bar b bar. All of you. And here what I will get now this is enable into what it is a a bar into b and this is what now we are enable into a b bar 
and here this is what now here enable into a b all of you so in all the cases enable the given what now one they given enable is given as what one enable is connected to one is connected now here now tell me w what i will get now here w what i will get now this is a a bar b enable is one now this is a b bar that means this is nothing but which operation is a xr operation this is nothing but xr operation only now next what about the expression of z so this one this one is connected what we'll get now this is a bar b bar plus a b x x not not gate now here all bar not gate so this is given as what it is a e x not b whole bar e x not b whole bar which is nothing but x r gate only now complement of x nor is nothing but x r only so these are expression for so z what the expression for z z is equal to xr gate xr gate and w which is also equal to xr gate only w is also a xr gate only okay next problem now tell me this thing the expression for z and w what i will get this expression for z and w Hmm. Tell me what we'll do. Same thing now, enable equal to one, no problem. So this is what here it is a, this is A bar, B bar. Yes, and here this is what now it is a a bar b and this is a b bar and this is a b so that is w which is given us what now it is a a bar b into what now here a b bar so which is equal to zero now which is equal to zero, I love you. Yes sir, no. A into A bar, under gate now, A into A bar is what? A into A bar is zero. Next, what about this Z? Whatever z now here, this is what now it is a bar b bar into what now here a b whole bar, isn't it? NAND operation now. So, which is what now this is a bar into a, this is 0 bar, which is equal to 1.
love you isn't it bolo yaar dan like this yes like this we'll see this thing here now tell me this is implement the off adder using 2 by 4 decoder how we can implement now here to off adder for off adder what we required yes the two inputs i have taken here yeah this is my a and this is my b now we have taken this enable pin i have taken and it has y not y1 y2 y3 na here enable equal to 1 now this is what we can say here 2 by 4 decoder 2 by 4 decoder this is 0 1 2 3 so what will get now this is off adder this is a bar b bar this is a bar b this is a b bar and this is a b off adder means this is we required these two now yes r gate we can implement now here we'll get xr gate we'll get now here this is the sum i can say sum of these two here a bar b plus ab bar this is a sum and carry means what now ab is a carry so i can say this is a carry enable equal to 1 we have taken enable given as 1 done like this like this we can implement this thing here fine yeah that's what today's class and we'll meet in the next class all of you we will meet in the next class all of you okay then see you bye bye